Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new video. In this video, I just want to quickly show you how to integrate Google Analytics inside of a Astro project. If you don't know what Astro is, Astro is a rather new uh, JavaScript framework or web development framework, however you want to call that. And um, it has seen good rise in popularity in the last couple of weeks and month. And I just started using it a couple of weeks ago and I really, really like it. It's the web framework that resonates the most with me of all of the latest uh, frameworks. And I will release a bunch of beginner friendly tutorials, maybe a crash course on Astro in the near future. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. Now for this video, we're going to create a new Astro project and then we are going to integrate Google Analytics 4, GA4, into the Astro project using the official plugin Party Town. As you guys know by now, we always provide a written tutorial that goes along with our videos and this video is no different. Now we're actually gonna take the first step using this article because I don't wanna blur my whole screen while showing you Google Analytics. I assume you already created a Google Analytics property and that's how you ended up here. Uh, but if you don't know how to create a Google property, a new Google property, Google Analytics property, um, then you can pull up this article here um, where I have a little bit of an instruction how to do that. So you create a new property in Google Analytics 4. And I recommend you guys creating a Google Analytics 4 property because the old versions of Google Analytics will be end of life uh, sometime next year, I think in the early, early parts of next year. So definitely create a Google Analytics 4 property right away. And the way how to do that is you create a property inside of Google Analytics and then you click on data stream. You will end up there anyway if you go through the create a new property process. There is the link for it, how you create it. There are step-by-step -step instructions provided by Google. If you don't know how to do that, just click on that and they lead you through step-by-step. -step. Anyhow, um, if you are there, you have your property selected and I'm sorry, I cannot zoom in more uh, on the screenshot here. And then you click on data streams and then you click on your property and then you click on view tag instructions. And once you click on view tag instructions, a new window comes up and then you wanna select install manually. And then you get your Google code that you need to integrate into your uh, Astro project. The problem is just, you cannot just drop that inside of your head um, because that will not work. We need a third party tool for that to work and we are going to use the official Astro integration party town for that and that's what we're gonna do next. So just for the sake of this tutorial I will create a new Astro project so I'm going to cd into my um, tutorials folder here and I'm gonna run npm create Astro at, at Astro at latest there we go. And that brings up the creating a Astro project. So you can see the version here is 1.6.10 that I'm using, uh, just so you get an idea what it is. And then I'm just going to call that Google, not Google, Google minus analytics. And then I'm just going to leave it at best practices. And I would like to install the dependencies. Probably takes a bunch of seconds here to finish. Actually creating an Astro project is really, really quick. So uh, we might just wait for that. And by the way, while I'm here, um, this is WSL2 that I'm using. I'm on Windows. If you want to know how to set up WSL2, that it looks exactly like this. I highly recommend you guys check out my WSL2 course that is available on Udemy. I'll leave the link in the video description below. And if you don't want to go through the whole course, I have a free tutorial series that I will also leave for you guys in the description so you can get that too. Uh, would you like to initialize a new Git repository? Yeah, whatever. And then I'm gonna use strict for TypeScript. Um, yep, it's fine with us. And now we are done with that and we can CD into our Google Analytics thing here and then we can open up VS Code inside of that new project. And we need some space over here. Actually, for now, we don't need our uh, console anymore so we can just make VS Code real big and then we can start with the integration. So this is a default 
very blank um, Astro project, how it looks like uh, if you just create that. And um, we actually forgot to install one thing, so I shouldn't be so quick on closing that um, terminal. So we actually need to install Partytown, of course. So we do npm install and then minus D at astro.js Partytown. And it's actually going to help us out here with auto completion. There we go. Just take a couple of seconds. And then if we look inside of our package.json, um, we should see that uh, here as a dependency, it's AstroJS Partytown 1.0.1. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is we need to actually integrate Google Analytics into uh, the Astro project. And how we do that? We don't go in the public folder, but we go in the source folder. I can close up this terminal again. And um, then um, where we want to include it in the default project, I think the head is in the layout. Yes, it is. So this is where we want to integrate it and we want to integrate it right here. Uh, GA or Google Analytics, Analytics code. Uh, we want to integrate it right on top as the first thing inside of our head. Now, I just don't want to throw that in there and um, like the bare code, it will just clog up things in our layout. I want to still use the layout later on and I want to, it looks nice. So we do a component based approach. That means we are going to create a new component uh, for our Google Analytics code to have everything nice and clean. So I go to components to the components folder and I'm going to create a new file called Google An uh, Analytics snippet or just let's call it Google Analytics. We don't need the snippet thing dot astro. And in here, Remember your Google Analytics code that you hopefully copied earlier. And if not, uh, now is the moment. Go over to Google Analytics and copy that code snippet that I've showed you in the article uh, a little while ago and can pull that up again. I'm talking about this one. So you're just going to copy and paste that and your Google Analytics code, your uh, measurement ID should be already in there. So that's the easiest way to do that. And I'm going to do the same in fact. So I'm going to copy and paste that. And I'm going to paste it in here. Now, when we paste it in here, we can see that it's actually throwing us some errors. And this is because we have to inject some script tags uh, that tells the script to use Partytown uh, for our handling as a service worker. So we do, um, where is it? I cannot remember everything off the top of my head either. So we do type, we add a type tag here and we say text forward slash not JavaScript, but um, party town. Okay. And the same thing on the other script tag type equals text forward slash party town. And if we hit save, then the error should disappear. Now as a final step, of course, um, you have to replace if you have this placeholder in here, if you copied that from the website, you have to replace this value and this value with your actual uh, Google Analytics measurement ID. That's the only thing you need to replace here. I'm not going to do that right now out of obvious reasons. And uh, the next thing, the last thing we still need to do is we need to import that thing into our layout. So we go to our layout and I'm um, just going to do the import on top. We do import Google Analytics from components analytics.astro and then we have it imported. We don't have it implemented yet. So I'm going to um, go underneath of this comment tag and then I'm going to implement Google Analytics right here. And now we have our Google Analytics code available on the website or on our project. And the way to test it is to just do npm run dev. And it's a good thing to see if we get some errors. Now we don't get any kind of errors, so we can open up our browser. I'm just going to throw that over here. Uh, give it some space. There we go. No, this is what I don't want. I want this in here. And um, then I'm going to do, I'm going to open the developer console here and I'm going to open the elements here and close all that stuff. And I'm going to open the head and uh, let's see Google Analytics code. There it is. Now it probably doesn't get injected, so you probably won't see it because Partytown is handling all of that. Um, but at least you can see that our Google Analytics tag is here. And that should actually be inside of the head. I, I'm not sure why it moved that. Why did it move that? That's weird. It created another head tag or did I do something wrong here? Um, that's weird. I've never seen that before. Uh, any, anyhow, I'm going to throw that down. 
out of some reason it moved the head. Okay. Okay, now now it looks like it should look like. Maybe I, I uh, deleted something too fast. So there it is. Now we have the Google Analytics code in here and it's actually showing up. So there it is. Now, of course, with my placeholder measurement ID and you probably can't see anything, um, but it is right there. So there is the Google Analytics code inside of our head tag. Now, if you deploy that code, um, it will take a little while um, until it updates. Of course, until Google Analytics sees some traffic, you probably have to go to your website a bunch of times. Usually it takes up to 48 hours. That's a pretty accurate um, description or estimate of how long it takes for that code to update on the Google um, Analytics side. Uh, it depends also how much traffic your website gets. If it gets more traffic, it's probably faster. But for me, it usually uh, took around two days, one day, two day, depending on the project that I was integrating. Um, anyway, that's it. That's how to install Google Analytics on Astro or how to integrate Google Analytics in an Astro project. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you managed to integrate Google Analytics into your Astro project. And uh, another note on Astro, I really like it. I just recreated uh, my whole portfolio website or my personal website um, with Astro. It's stefanrose.com if you want to check that out. And I really like it. It's really easy and intuitive. Um, of all of the last new web development, JavaScript frameworks, whatever you want to call it, I've tried. I like Astro the best by far. I thought I really like Vue, um, which I do. Uh, Vue is cool, but I really like Astro better. It just flows with me. It just makes sense to me. Whereas a lot of the other frameworks kind of uh, hard to understand for me at times. Um, but Astro really, really flows and is nice and it just works for me. So um, I'm planning to create some more tutorials on Astro because I'm using it heavily at this moment. Uh, I created a blog with Astro. It's a really fast blog, directly 100 score on Google Web Vitals. It's crazy. Um, if you guys want to know something, if you want to have a specific tutorial, if you want to have a crash course on Astro, if you want to have a astro beginner series for web developers or whatever let me know in the comments below if this video gets enough likes comments shares whatever i'm gonna create a whole astro beginner series uh, for you guys let me know if there is any interest all right i'll see you back in the next one thanks for watching